Welcome back to my channel guys, it's time for another anime first impression video. Welcome back once again, this is going to be one that is airing on Funimation and there is one unique thing that I like about uh, this one that... I'm not really sure if Funimation has done this before. I know it's done it with bigger animes, but not animes as as small, small as this one. Um, but before anything, guys, if you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, that There is no giveaway anymore happening. I announced the winners yesterday. So go claim your items if you haven't done so uh, yet. I know there's uh, maybe three people that have not claimed their items. So go claim them uh get yourself some free merch uh also guys if you want to further support the channel then you guys can always uh follow me on social media or on my discord which we are trying to revive as much as possible and uh yeah uh, you can also give some love um here on youtube and watch the rest of my other first impression videos from this spring 2021 season uh you guys can find them here in my channel and i have quite a bit of them already out so um go check those out okay uh this is gonna be on mars red and again it is airing on funimation now the unique thing about this one is that it's being aired both subbed and dubbed now i'm not sure if this is a special occasion because it's a it's a premiere and they wanted to do both dub and sub and then then it's going to be only sub and eventually the dub will catch up or if they're actually going to be dubbing but i'm going to assume that funimation is going to be airing this one uh, as uh dubbed and subbed both together which it has not done something like that in a while uh in fact bigger animes like black clover or one piece well not really one piece but black clover at least is a good example they're about five six episodes behind from the actual current black clover obviously uh episode 170 was the last one but funimation is still running it because they have to catch up with the dub uh same thing with the fire force and uh, other animes that you can compare it to so uh, i'm excited that they are trying a new method of where both dub and sub are released because sometimes there is some animes that i do want to watch but maybe not as much as others and dubbed maybe is the way to do it and some people do like dub um i i personally prefer subbed um most of the time before dub but there's always a time and and place for dubbed and um i i like to give it its time so i did watch half of the episode dubbed and half of it uh subbed i will say the dramatized or how dramatized this episode is it kind of sounded weird in the english version um i don't know why <laughs> but it just did it just kind of sounded funny in english but in, in japanese it it sounded like it it how it's supposed to sound but um anyways this is basically a uh, world where vampires exist and it's a story that um takes place in this realm and they have this girl uh, arrested essentially for for being a vampire and um the the story revolves around this guy or investigator that essentially his job is to go and speak to these vampires and then um kind of figure out how they became a vampire what are they dangerous how what level of dangerous are there and um we get little snippets here and there of information of how kind of how the world runs in this in this realm of world and essentially there is kind of different ranks of vampires and the higher the rank of the vampire that bites you then that's how important or not important you are this vampire per se is actually important and uh she has um or, or vampires have basically a um a mark in their body and she has it in her tongue and they find out that she actually has um she has genes that are close to a pretty tough and strong vampire so um 
they encourage our protagonist to talk to her and convince her to essentially be a weapon for the nation and fight for the good side. I think this whole anime, it's going to be about what is the good side, what is the bad side, and who is in the good side and who is in the bad side, um, which I think is a, a, a great... Uh, topic to take in uh, I think it's probably been done quite a bit already but it's still a good topic to take in um, you think the girl is very important because she keeps up uh, reoccurring her scenes and how she's playing mind tricks with people and eventually she escapes jail and um, she's not really killing people like she um, hurts them and knocks them out but doesn't really kill him, and that's, I think, interesting in my point of view, and uh, she is, ends up being an actress, uh, b b her before life, and at the end of the episode, in a nutshell, I guess you can say, she does die because uh, of the sun, and she does confess that she likes this, this detective, but that's the end of her, so, um, my first impression of this is that it's kind of going to be a uh, detective mystery type of vampire story uh, and each episode or maybe every two episodes is going to be a different vampire and we're going to be more focused on the growth of how he views vampires in fact uh, they already mentioned to him that he needs to not be so um, loving and compassionate to these vampires because at the end of the day they're the enemy and so he already is a character who is questioning the system is questioning the who is right who is wrong point of view in this whole world and um, that's essentially the, the the first episode is it good you know uh, graphic wise there there's a lot of 3d in this one, uh, or at least I felt like there was, um, and 3D is still not up there for me when it comes to animation. The story itself was fine. I feel like it it can get boring, um, especially with the whole finding yourself kind of thing in this aspect. Um, I kind of feel like I've seen a lot of detective stuff like that, and it, it feels like it's been a little bit overdone. Um, so it, considering all that, uh, but also considering the fact that it is being sub and dubbed at the same time, I'm going to give this one a six out of 10. It, it, it's not bad per se. It, it's just, it could have been better. Um, uh, I, I felt like, um, we could have gotten more action. Like why are the vampires seen, uh, as such bad people? And I, I would have wanted maybe a little bit more more of of the why, uh, but we didn't get that. So, um, out of 10, a 6. Let me know if you have watched this one. It has been almost a week since it aired. Uh, this next week is going to be the week where most anime airs, but uh, we have quite a bit of it already out. And, um, yeah, you can check it out now on Funimation. Give some love to this video. Comment, like, and share. Uh, you can always subscribe please do uh we're trying to reach 4300 um 4300 4400 uh <laughs> this month so please please do so and give uh some love to the other videos as well thank you guys again for your love and support and i'll see you guys on the next first impression video